to Stylish Niger YouTube channel. I want to say thank you to all of my subscribers. Thank you so much for subscribing to Stylish Niger YouTube channel. I appreciate it a whole lot. Every single one that have subscribed to my channel, I actually don't take it for granted. So thank you, thank you, and thank you. Okay, so if you are new to this channel, if this is the first time of you coming across Stylish Niger YouTube channel, even if you have been following before and you have not subscribed, please, I would appreciate if you hit on the subscribe button and then hit on the bell on the side also to get an update whenever I upload a new video. Okay, so let's start. Okay, let's get started. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to actually cut and sew this double pleat sleeve. I think that I should call it that way. Is it actually a double pleat? exaggerated sleeve so that's what i'm going to show you i'm going to show you how to actually pad cut pad and sew it so you can see that it's standing it's very structured standing so i'll show you how to achieve it today and we're going to be making use of our strong gum stay or you can make use of hem you can make use of um color stay also it will work so these are the two materials that you need for this sleeve okay so before we start i'm going to show you how to measure so you notice that the sleeve is round how to measure it, it is a very simple process. So I'm going to use this. So this is my round sleeve measurement for, for this dress. So what you are going to do, you are just going to measure it round like this. So you just measure it round. So what I have here now is nine inches. So what I'm going to cut out now is 18 because you know, both for the back and the front, so it's 18. So that's just, it's just a very simple way. And then if you want to, if you, the top part, so you see the top part is lined, so, uh, sorry, it's pleated. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add about five or four inches. It's just little pleats. I'll add it to that part. So now let's, let's fold our fabric and then cut out our fabric. Okay, so now we're going to, I'm going to show you how to cut this leaf. So this leaf, you can actually cut it in two ways. You can cut it like a flay. That is there by folding your fabrics like this into four and then cutting as a flay. But if you cut it as a flay, it might be too... Big, it will look it will be looking more of like a full circle sleeve. So the best way for you to cut it is here is what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to to mention. I'm just going to mention. I'm just going, so I'm just going to come to this point. So I'll just pick a point from my fabric like this. I just want to get the the length of the sleeve first. So from this point like this, I would measure. The length of my sleeve. So this is nine inches. So this nine inches, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to create something like a circle. So you see what I'm trying to do. So I'm trying to create it round, but so this nine inches. So, so you see where this is where my mark is. So once I get to this point, I'm going to stop. Why I'm stopping is I want to get the the length of my of my of my sleeve. So I've not I've not mentioned I've not um, marked out the opening of the sleeve. So I've not marked out the opening. So you can actually open this part straight, but it's still going to be the same thing. So the next thing I'm going to do now from this point now, from here like this. I'm going to measure my round sleeve measurements. That's from this point. So my round sleeve is nine inches, just like I showed you earlier. And then I'm going to add extra, like one inch for, for the pleats. So from this point, I'm just going to mark this point. I'm going to mark it straight down to this point. So you see what I have. So this part, I'm going to open up this part like this. This part I'll cut open and then this part is going to come like this. So it's not going to be straight. So you're going to slant it. Just give it like a like a triangle slant like this. So with this, the sleeve is going to form very well. But if you don't want to use this pattern, you can use a flay pattern. For the one, the smaller one, I'm going to cut that one. That's the one that is on top. We'll cut that one like a flay. So I'm not going to use this pattern to cut it. So you see what I have. I'm just trying to 
so this side like this you see this side now it's like slanted and then now i would open like this now so you see what i have it's just a, a very simple process when you open it you see what you are going to have you're going to have it like someone after the sewing um, and plating it's going to stand but it's not going to be like a full flay so that's just like the essence of cutting it of using this pattern like this to cut it so the next one i'm going to cut is a smaller one but i'm not going to use this foam so i'll cut that one like a flay so i'll show you how to do that right now okay so the next one i'm going to cut and i'm going to cut the shorter one so for this the length that i used for this one was actually nine inches so for that one i'm not going to use nine inches i'm going to make it like six inches but i want you to note if you notice the down part of this that is the width i've now i've not shaped it out so i'm still going to shape it to reduce this down part i just want to have the the fullness so once i have the fullness i'm still going to reduce on this down part so because i don't want the down to be too wide like what you have in the picture so it's going to be like what we have in the picture it's not going to be too wide so what still so if you notice i did not mention i did not uh, measure the the down part that's the width is only the length and then the sleeve opening and then the round sleeve which is nine inches so you, like i measured the armhole round so nine inches and then you add the extra allowance that you will use to pleat it so i'll cut out the second one now okay so i finished cutting out the second one for the top so what i'm going to do now i'm going to cut out my strong gum and then i'm going to cut out you got you are going to cut out your lining so me i'm going to use the same fabric to line so i'll cut two of these as in exactly and then i will come and iron this and then stitch it and turn them together so in the stitching i'm going to stitch it on the down part round and then i'm not going to stitch the side and then i'm not going to stitch the top also so i'll do that and then come back and show you how it should look like okay so i'm going to show you so i finished turning stitching and turning them so i'm going to trim them now that's the down part of my sleeve the width of the sleeve so what i'm going to do i'm going to use 20 inches so this is 20 inches you can add an extra half inch for allowance and then when you are trimming while you did down you make sure that your armhole is still intact so because this is the part that will stitch on the armhole that will stitch on the armhole part so my armhole is nine inches like i mean, mentioned earlier this is my nine inches and then i'm going to add i have one and a half inch one inch i'm going to pleat and then the other half inch is going to be my stitching allowance so i'm just trying to put it to make sure that it is sitting well so once i get the edge of where i want so this part i'm going to trim off and then trimming it off so you notice the way i'm slanting it i'm not i'm not i'm not cutting it straight like this you understand you see it is slanted so that is what will give that shape that is at the down part of the sleeve so i'm just going to cut it like this so you see so i've slanted it now Okay, so you see it is slanted so the next thing is just for us to join just so the parts that you are going to pleat so now i'm using one inch for my pleat so this is the one inch just tiny pleat so i'm just going to notch that part and then i will join them together and then i'll show you how it will look like so it's going to so i'll pleat this middle part now like this so I'll just split. So I'm just trying to split it around like that. And then you see it as I'm done with that. The next thing is for me to join my stitch. So you can see already right, it's looking like what we have on the picture. So you can see it's a very simple process. So I'm going to join join the slip down the side like this.
So at the end of the day, so you see how the sleeve is looking. I just want you to, to have a very good look at it. So you see it. So I think I'm going to try and see if I can stand it on my mannequin. But this is the sleeve. So you could see, see the side like this. So you make sure that this part, you use your overlock seam to lock, to close it. So it's, or you can do an inseam finishing for it. So you see how it is looking beautiful. So this is just like the simple way of actually cutting and sewing this the sleeve. So you see it, it looks so thank you so much if you find this video helpful. I would appreciate if you hit on the like button to make me know you appreciate what I did with this video. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Thank you so much. I'll see you in my next video. God bless you. Ciao.